It's the 2018 Anambra Technical and Creativity Program, put together through the partnership of two ministries, Youth Empowerment and Creative Economy and the Ministry of Basic Education. This year's edition, held in Orca, the state capital, involves competition in the areas of technical innovation, script writing, acting, music, dancing and food. There's also an opportunity for students of government technical colleges in the state to show off their creative works. The device runs on a 12 volt battery that can be used at home. As I'm putting it on now, you can see the fan is turning. Now this shows that it absorbs air from the exterior here and brings out pure and clean air from here. Now it uses a solar panel. As you can see, that's the solar panel there. <laughs> It's the turn for those in creative arts, like dancing and singing, to showcase their talent. In the end, winners are presented with prizes by the governor. Please. We want you to unveil an Amra Young Innovator for all those innovators to come together in a common room to discuss the problem behind the Amra in and provide solutions as well Kelly's and Drag with the state government's intervention in the education sector, 26 trade subjects have received full accreditation in the technical colleges. Anambra youths are the most productive and creative youths we have ever had in this country. I was impressed to run into them in Boston, doing great things, you know, and that's what we want to give the opportunity to the guys that are at home. Governor Willie Obiano seems impressed with the performance of the students, promising to sponsor seven of them to understudy the Cambridge Innovation Center in the United States to replicate the system when the Anambra Innovation Center is fully established. Other highlights of the event were the unveiling of the Anambra Young Innovators and Anambra Youth Art Group.